Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, in continuation with your main topic, that is the convex geometry. And in continuation of finding or writing the equation of a straight line, we're going to take the third form, and that third form is called the two point form. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, we'll be able to find or write an equation of a straight line using the coordinates of two points on the line. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as usual, we have our segment mercy is fun today. Still, I'll give you another interesting property of the Pascal triangle. This is property number four. I'll give you this interesting property of this Pascal after completing my lesson today. So don't go away. So to begin the lesson, let us learn what to do if we are asked to find or to write the equation of a straight line that passes through two points and those two points, uh, their coordinates is given in the equation. So let's do that. So our equation of the line that passes through two points and those two points are uh, one of the coordinate x1, y1, and the second coordinate is x2, y2. If you have the coordinates of two points that your line passes through, you ask to find the equation of that line. Simply what you're going to use is this simple formula. It says y minus y y cos 2 bracket open. Inside the bracket is x minus x1 times another bracket open. And inside that bracket you have a fraction. And numerator of that fraction is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you can see in this simple formula it contains all this x1, y1, x2, y2. That is the coordinates of the two points so that the line passes through which is given in the question. It's what you just to substitute in this formula appropriately and what you have in the end after simplifying is the equation of that very line. We are going to take examples how we can make use of this simple formula and arrive at the equation of the line. So let's do that. So example number one, it says to find an equation of the line that passes through this point. One of the point is uh, this point with the coordinate minus 5, comma 0, and the second point has a coordinate 3, comma minus 4. So the line passes through these two points. And the question asks is to find the equation of that very line. Solution to this. We just write it down in that formula. Remember, it says y minus y1 equals 2. Bracket open x minus x1 in the first bracket times uh, another bracket open, and that second bracket contains a fraction numerator y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then, if you now let the very first point to be x1, y1. And the second point, the second coordinate to be x to y2. Then you can now substitute appropriately in this very formula. You now have uh, y minus 0. That is my y1 is now 0. Look at it here. Remember I said let this first point to be x1, y1. Then the second point x to y2. So in this case y1 is 0. x1 will now be minus 5. So I'm going to have y minus 0 equals 2 bracket open inside that first bracket is x minus minus 5 close the bracket times another bracket open inside that second bracket is y2 minus y1 but look at it this is my y2 this is my y1 that's 0 so i'm going to have minus 4 minus 0 over x2 minus x1 x2 is 3 and x1 is minus 5 so i'm going to have 3 minus minus 5 then I continue. So simply finding the brackets, you now have uh, y minus 0 is nothing but y. This first bracket, x minus minus 5, the minus minus will change to plus. So there you now have uh, x plus 5. Then the second bracket, which contains the fraction numerator, there minus 4 minus 0 gives you minus 4. And the 3 minus minus 5, the minus minus will change to plus. There you now have 3 plus 5, which gives you 8. So we continue. So if I continue simplifying this bracket there, minus 4 divided by 8, simply it gives you minus half. So I'm going to have y equals to bracket open, x plus 5, then close the bracket, times another bracket minus 1 over 2. 
multiply both sides by just number two there. So there it will give me 2y equals to minus 1 times so this x gives you minus x and minus 1 times positive 5 gives you minus 5. And this is the equation of this very line that passes through these two points. And with these two examples, I will now stop here. I hope you use this two. You can be able to write the equation of any line that passes through two points and the coordinates of those two points is known in the question. So example number two, it says obtain the equation of the line that join these two points. So these two points, you have uh, one of the points is called N and has coordinate 3 comma minus 2. The second point is the point M with the coordinate 5 comma minus 2. So that line that we are interested in finding it is equation. That line passes through these two set of points. Solution to this very problem, what you do, remember you write the formula. The formula, remember, says y minus y1 equals to bracket open inside the bracket is x minus x1. Close the bracket times another very big bracket, which contains a fraction with y2 minus y1 as your numerator and x2 minus x1 as your denominator. So if you now later the very first point n to be x1, y1, and the second point m to be x2, y2, there you now substitute correctly in this formula. You now have uh, y minus minus 2. You have y1 is minus 2. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Then equals 2 bracket open x minus 3. This is the value of your x1. Then open that very large bracket. You now have minus 2 minus minus 2. You have replaced y2 by this minus 2 and replaced y1 by this minus 2. Look at it. This is your y1 and this is your y2. Both of them are minus 2 minus 2 each. So you continue. So we will now simplify this minus minus will change it to plus. You have y plus 2. And this number to the minus 2 minus minus will now be plus. So you have minus 2 plus 2 which will now be the 0. And the num denominator 5 minus 3, that gives you 2. So we continue. And remember, 0 divided by 2 is nothing but 0. So that was what I'm going to have next. So I have y plus 2 equals 2. Bracket open x minus 3 times 0. And at the time 0, remember, is 0. So this right hand side will now be 0 because this bracket times 0 will change it to 0. So you have y plus 2 equals to 0. And there you now take this two to the right hand side where it will change it to minus. So your equation is now y equals to minus two. So this is the equation of this line that passes through these two points. And with this, I have come to the end of this very lesson, my dear student. I hope you find it resourceful. We will still see more of this aspect of coordinate geometry in our next lesson. Thank you for your attention. Another interesting property of the Pascal triangle, let's take it. This property says this diagonal line, the second diagonal line to either left or right, that line contains a set of counting numbers. Remember counting numbers, uh, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see the Pascal triangle. This is your Pascal triangle. So a line, second line diagonally down. Let's see this line, look at it, this line, this line, or this line, look at it, the second line diagonally down to either left or right. Let's see the line exactly. So this line contains entries that are counting the numbers. This also contains entries that are counting in numbers. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we continue, we have more lines down. That is more rows down. The next number will be 10 here. So this is interesting. I believe you have seen this Pascal triangle, but you never noticed this second line diagonally down contain exactly counting the numbers. So this Pascal is amazing. We see more of this Pascal triangle, amazing things about it in our next lesson. Thank you for your attention.